Morning, Tom. Morning. My name's Tom Hardwick, and I'm from Chesterfield in England. You sleep well? I have a condition called Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and that is a progressive muscle wasting disease, and generally leads to death by late teens or early 20s. My morning routine, there's a lot of components to it and that can take up to maybe an hour to an hour and a quarter. <laughs> Me and my dad have a, a good relationship. I gave up full-time employment back in 2002 uh, to be his full-time carer. I really had to give up work to do that. We didn't know uh, really kind of how things would unfold and so I wanted to spend as much time with him, um, I think, as I could. He's not just a dad to me, he's also a pal and a friend. I remember the moment when I lost my ability to walk at the age of 10. It came kind of quickly, but I had noticed things in my body before that where I was starting to tire easier. So it wasn't a massive shock that devastated my life. It was just a, oh, things are gonna change now. I lost my best mate, Kieran, to DMD when I was 13 years old. I found it lonely, really, because I didn't really know who to talk to. Mum and Dad were there, but I didn't really feel able to talk to them about. But I didn't know God, so I couldn't talk to him either. I said to him, Tom, you know, I, I really want us to become Christians together, uh, because I want us to be in heaven together as a family. When Mum and Dad took me to church, I was really surprised by what I saw and the people there were full of this joy and they were singing of this God of love and life and compassion. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Good, I'm glad you're here. And that to me, that hit me quite hard. It wasn't what I was expecting. When I turned to him, so many things changed in my life. I was more at peace with who I was. And when I thought about a way that I could serve, the first thing I thought of was, oh, Johnny and Friends, what do they have? And I went onto the website and saw the Cause for Life internship. I thought to myself, oh my goodness, this is so me. I am the intern coordinator for the Arizona Cause for Life internship for the summer. In my free time, I'm a seventh grade reading teacher, so I didn't know how directing and leading young college students was gonna go. Front row seat, Tom. Absolutely. I really love working with people with disabilities, and it was also a good chance to learn more about Jesus and what the Bible says about people with disabilities. It's just amazing to be here when there were so many things that could have stopped me, like fear of not knowing what to expect. Whoa, <laughs> golly. I don't like wide open spaces and heights. And that kind of defines the Grand Canyon. Uh, I find it incredible that people like to go on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> They're just nuts. Thank you. Absolutely nuts. I didn't know exactly how I was going to relate to him. And it's taken a little while to get past the wheelchair and to get past the things that he can't do. As we've spent more time together, it's been really amazing to get to know his character. And we've really been able to share a lot of things together. Uh, but my brother, Jordan. Yeah, cool. I have a form of muscular dystrophy. It's called distal spinal muscular atrophy. It's like I get an allowance at the beginning of every day of how much muscles I have for the day. 
It makes me figure out how to live every day to the fullest. When I first saw Katie, and I was like, oh no, a super confident disabled person. But then I got talking to her. It was a real privilege to get to know her. And I know I don't have to be afraid of super confident disabled people anymore. We're so going to have to have a race. We've got to do it. Three, two, one, go! Go, 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 go! Oh my goodness! That's not fair! He took it like a champ. He went out there. He took one for the team. It was just amazing to see Tom overcoming his fear and just knowing that he wanted to seize the moment. And Tom is paving the way and showing us that it can be done um, with God's strength. I really enjoyed going to the Grand Canyon, although it was a long way out of my comfort zone. It was just wonderful to, to just observe and see, wow, this is what the maker is capable of. We had the journey over to Arizona for the family retreat. Travelling along the open roads with uh, not too much traffic was lovely. Another part of this internship is relationships with people with disabilities. I'm feeling really excited. I'm feeling a bit nervous. I want it to all go well. But it's worth sitting in the rain to wait for him. It's freezing. I've been really looking forward to meeting you. Thank you. I pray that God would make it a really good time and that he would be glorified and that I'd be able to just love that family. Me and Blake did a number of activities throughout the week. Here you go! He's a funny one, quite cheeky. <laughs> it's so fun to see how they connect and they're already really good friends. Good. We did a Bible study together. One of my favorite passages is from the Gospel of John. He'd been helping me a lot, but I wanted to help him too, because I think the two go hand in hand. And I also pray for those that don't know your, your love, Father God. You've got to expect that you can receive from them uh, and not just that they're going to get a benefit from you. And that was a, a big lesson for me. Tom! Tom! Tom is a really good guy. I realised that I had no hope and I needed some deep emotional healing. I needed a light to shine. And that light was and remains to be the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm so glad that he came into my life. Once he got the opportunity and the platform to tell his story, all of the interns opened up. <laughs> the next thing you know, they're sitting with him at lunch. They're helping him eat. They're reaching out to him on a different level. And Tom didn't change. Tom's the same person that he was. It was the interns' hearts that were changed once they heard his story. Tom has shown me a lot by the way he relates to people. It's really helped my faith to grow through this internship. I've learned a lot more about suffering and what we're called to do as Christians. It changes my perspective. He doesn't let his limit to limit himself to serve the Lord. Tom Hardwick is a Bible college graduate who's serving as one of our college for like interns. The highlight of my internship has to be my radio interview with Johnny. That really impacted me and I'm just so glad to have had that opportunity. Thank you. I think one of the most important things that's being spread here at Family Retreat is love, compassion, and hope. 
and these Cause for Life interns are, you know, helping the parents and giving them that hope that, that people care and that God sent us all here for a reason. I feel like being here with Cause for Life, it's just helped me see that it really is important to get involved and not just let life pass you by. I'm just absolutely so excited about getting on the waves and just having the wind blowing through what hair I've got left. Glad to meet lots of people like myself who have a disability and to be able to show them, you know what, nothing's impossible for God. <laughs>